The escape of Princess Ai, wife of Muhammad bin Rashid, opens the black box. What is the story of the letter written 20 years ago? The escape of Princess Ai bin Talasan, wife of Dubai ruler and ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Muhammad bin Rashid al Maktoum, opened a black box in the history of his relationship with his wives and daughters. The escape highlighted the man's history of violence and scandals with his family. According to the Sunday Times, the Sunday Times published a detailed report by Middle East correspondent Louis. Callahan revealing a previously unseen message of the torment and pain experienced by Shams al Maktoum, the daughter of Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum. The report indicates that a letter dated 16 September 1999 was written in blue ink and in a line by line with a headline in London I've been thinking for a long time to escape, and I know. This will not solve any of my problems, so I thought in talking to my mother, but I discovered that this has not been achieved. The letter was written by Sheikh to her cousin, married to Britain, Fatima Saberi, before she changed her identity. She described the desperate nostalgia for the luxurious and suffocating presence in Dubai. The newspaper recalls that Sheikh Shamsa wrote the letter at the age of 18 years, saying, Don't worry, so... You don't give me ideas and don't encourage me to escape. And all I say, I decided and I have nothing to do here. I don't know when I get this confidence. Weeks ago, I wanted to commit suicide. In less than a year, Shamsa boarded a Range Rover from a father's palace in Surrey province and fled, leaving the car and vanishing, leading to the search that ended two months later when she was reportedly kidnapped and transported to Dubai on her family's orders. Since then... He said her defenders, including her sister, Sheikha Latifa, say she's taking painkillers and has been kept in family palaces in Dubai against her will. The newspaper says that Sabri, who lived with the family, talked to correspondent about Shamsa's life in the golden cage and what prompted Shamsa to risk everything and escape from the family and revealed the way in which she learned her charming Algerian Mother Horia about plans to escape Shamsa and how the letter tried suicide. The report notes that this message comes weeks after another scandal against the ruling family in Dubai. Sheikh Mohammed's wife, Princess Haya bin Hussein, and her two sons fled to London, and the battle for the custody of the children in British courts will begin at the end of this month. The escape of Princess Haya from Dubai came to the treatment of Sheikha Latifa, the 33-year-old sister of Sheikha Shamsa. Last year, Latifa published a 40-minute video describing Shamsa, now 38, a prisoner in her father's palace after trying to escape. Latifa enjoyed a hobby of planes and martial arts. Her escape plan, she decided to record a video as a security measure in case the escape plan failed. According to Callahan, Siberi is the daughter of Aunt Shamsa, who is 11 years younger and was born in Morocco to an Algerian family. She was young when she lived with her aunt at Qasr al-Sheikh. She was only 12 years old. We played together, she says. Latifa was naughty and we were pampered. They were making knots, like taking pictures of some of them in Rolls-Royce cars in front of the house or going on trips to the desert, noting that Shamsa loved rides more than anything. The Sheikh comes to visit sometimes says very this was not an expression of the relationship of love or that the father was present according to the report the atmosphere of luxury was not without tantrums not authority but shamsa was an exception Callahan noted that at the age of 16 latifa tried to tell the world what was going on for her sister but she stopped your father asked us to beat you to death and these are his orders Sabri moved to a boarding school in Britain at the age of 10, leaving behind her aunt's daughter in the golden cage cars and they are not allowed to see them. Marcos, 48, is working to help refugees and decided to talk after being contacted by a group of prisoners in Dubai which is calling for Shamsa and Latifa's release.